Welcome to an out of the box unboxing. Today I am looking at Shadow Kingdoms of Valeria. This is the last of my Good Games Winter Clearance purchases. This is a 1 to 5 play game for ages 14 and above. Playtime 60 to 90 minutes. There's a lot of different Valeria games and I've had my eye on them for a while. I was going to print and play them but there's a lot of cards. And this came up and I thought well this looks interesting. It's a dice throwing worker placement type game. Anyway let's have a look and see what we get inside. It's a big box. It's quite heavy. And that usually goes well for goodness inside. And let's have a look to see what we've got here. Okay all nicely set out. Um, there are a lot of dice. Wow. We've got some foam pinners. Oh, this is interesting. Let's have a look and see what we've got in here. We have got brown, grey, green, red, and black dice. All in their neat little bays. That's nice and convenient. Let's have a look at some of these. Okay, so these are standard six-sided dice. Quite a lot of things on them. Two sets, three sets of icons. Oh, they're nice. They're, um, they look like they're printed on. They're not embossed. But, um, yeah, nice, nice feel to them. And they come bagged, so that's handy. So, wow, so we've got lots of dice if you like your dice this looks like it could be a good game for you that's a lot of dice we've got a bag of baggies which is handy what have we got that's really good i really like that it makes life a lot easier when you start popping out your tokens so thank you designers we have got a draw bag with a rather cute looking dragon on it the drawstring. That's nice. Okay. I really didn't expect. It. I thought it was going to be board, board dice, board, um, cards in a board. Hmm. Okay. I'm glad, I, I'm glad I didn't craft this one. <laughs> there are lots of components. Let's have a look and see what we get in here. We have got some little creature tokens by the box. These are, they look like they're kind of laminate, 3D printed type tokens. Beastie, <laughs> Punisher, um, ghosty, batty creatures. They're nice. They can go back in that little baggy. And we've also got some bigger ones. I won't bother getting these out because these are much the same. Oh yeah, tokens. Oh, these are double-sided. Yeah, nice. Um, we've also got, looks like some standard 3D printed hexagonal and either player tokens or board tokens. Looks like there's going to be lots going on. Okay, what else have we got? We've got some styrofoam. Hmm, I wonder if that's for the board or whether it's for the insert. Make your own insert. That could be neat. Um, well, you've also got some cards. Where's my knife? These are and the same size, which is handy. And if you're interested in sleeving them, which you probably will be, leave your cards um this is 45 4.5 centimeters by 68 i don't have yes yeah, so 44 that's 44 by 68 millimeters it's probably going to be standard many european i was going to take a guess but i think that sounds like a pretty standard sleeve size for these mini sleeves. If you're like me, you'll have a pile of them somewhere. The cards are really thin, they've got a linen, linen effect, which I quite like. Let's have a look a bit closer. 
nice colours. They're really nice. These will look like event cards or something on the other side. Make sure we're on focus. Each card looks like it's got individual art. For the little cards and so many of them, that's really impressive. I haven't seen any duplicates yet. That's really nice. Nice bold icons. Yeah, that is, unless the packs are the same, that is really impressive to have individual art on every card, which Dr. Sorceress, Overseer, Conscriptor. Nice. Yep, I like those. I like those a lot. And let's look at this one. This one. That's one of the things with these Valeria games. The um, the art is very vivid, very you know bold colours, very attractive. I really like the art. Um, from what I've seen so far, though, I might have to get more. And these are really high quality components. Let's look at the other side. More interesting. Warmonger. Yeah, if you're into your kind of fantasy genre. <laughs> Vero, bit of Eddie there, Warlock. I think this is about bending off the um, invading humans and elves. So it's mainly creature dominated. Well, that's nice, something a bit different. Um, yeah, and then more cards. So lots of cards. All right, what else have we got? We have got, I don't know it's falling out, player boards. And these are thick cardboard. I think this is almost the thickest I've seen. Single-sided, uh, but that is, that is solid. And again, nice art. Uh, what have we got? This seems like a lot of tokens. Okay, and then we've got your standard little tokens. So if you like popping tokens, that's going to be a winner. Another creature player board. That's nice. Oh, they also do, and then more. This looks like a location one with your standard tokens to pop out. But we've got lots of baggies, so that's fine. I'm saying there's number. Three, four, uh, oh, what happened to that one? Is that one missing? That's four. Yeah, I need five, that's five. Got some rules. Oh, what's this? This looks like a board. Of course my table's, oh, yes, it's, it's a kind of a half board. Again, really nice colors. This is, this is a, not rounded, rounded corners. This is really nicely built board, single-sided. I think this is our location, it looks like a place for cards. I know next to nothing about this game, but it looks great. Okay, so what do we got here? Usually we start with the instructions, so it's funny to find these at the bottom. Um, whew, that's a page full of stuff. It's got a list of contents, which is always good. It's got rules for two to five players. I wonder if the solo rules are at the back. Let's look for those. Game overview. Rhines. I don't think we need the um I think the the dividers I'm not sure where they go. It doesn't look like they go on the board. They're uh, the foam rubber. Maybe they're for making your own 
game overview, shrines, battles, uh, the player board, campaign map, champion, oh, solo variant, so we go, page 12. You play against a virtual player called the adversary. Instructions below, changes to the solo game, all other standard rules apply. Um, when you can, game ends and you complete your seventh battle plan, Okay, so there's, there's a winning condition, and then there's final scoring. So it's a, it's a score game, but it gets it looks like a race, race to the end. End game, and quick reference guide on the back, which we're always appreciative. I wonder then if these are designed to go in here. is a puzzle on itself um, there we go that's cute and probably put all my other bits on top I guess I'll have to um sleeve my cards but there you go that's a lot of that's a lot of stuff um, I have to pop all the tokens see where everything else fits in So far, that is very impressive. There's a lot of goodness in that box. Now, I'll fit these in, probably not. Maybe I'll just leave those out. I'm going to pop them anyway. So there you go. That is what you get inside Shadow Kingdoms of Valeria. Lots of dice, lots of cards, high quality boards. This looks really good. Hopefully, we'll get that on the table soon. Don't forget to subscribe and like.